So the way I got into that page was uh, I, I went to the page and then I picked on the page tab and then I picked on edit. Now, um, remember how I said you can make that so it has to be checked out. Notice how that one did not, uh, did not ask me to check it out first. Watch what we're going to do. Uh, I'm going to pick on the page tab. Now over here it says library settings and the library in this case would be all of the web pages uh, for the site are going to be controlled by this library settings. So this is going to be one that's going to come up throughout the class a couple times. So I'll pick on library settings. All right. Now um, there, there are settings that you may or may not have access to, but you probably will have access to this ne uh, next one. It says versioning settings. So I'm going to click right there. Now, sometimes during the class, I'll make my mouse do that so you can see where my mouse is. And that'll show up on the recording as well. All right. Uh, now, when you go to these kind of screens, a lot of times the choices will be over here on the right-hand side. It says require content approval for submitted items. Usually, I would pick that as no. Because otherwise, you as the site administrator would have to approve everything. So, unless something is really, really important, I'd probably leave that as no there. Now, here's a great feature that SharePoint has. It has these versions. And what that really means is, if you do use the versions, you can actually go back to a previous version and restore that if you needed to. So, I, I like that feature. Uh, so, just in case I have to go back, uh, you know, I'm going to say create major versions. Now, the major version will be like uh, version 1, 2, 3, and 4. Whereas the major and minor versions over here would be like 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1.3, that kind of thing. In this case, I'll just make the major versions. Sometimes the, the minor can be useful. Now, this is going to be up to your company. It says, uh, keep the following number of major versions. If you don't check that at all, it'll just keep a, you know, a, a unlimited amount. So depending on your company's uh, storage space, they might ask you to limit that right there. Who should uh, see the draft items in this document library? I'll say um, any user can, can read the items. That's fine. Now, here's the really important choice right here. Require documents to be checked out before they can be edited. I'm going to say yes there. And we'll see these same kind of settings when we get to our document library pretty shortly in the class. I'm going to click on OK. Now, as soon as I picked on OK, those settings were, were saved. Now, let's go back to our home page. I'll pick on home. Now, I'm going to try to edit that again. So, I'll pick on the word page. And I'll pick on edit. Notice now, it says I have to check that item out before I make changes. So, that's really a great feature because that means only one person can check it out and make changes at a time. Other people can see it as read only but only one person could actually have it checked out at the time because of that, uh, because of that option that I chose. So I'll say, okay, I'm going to check it out. And now it lets me edit that page again, and then I can make my different changes. Here, you know, it's giving me a status, it's checked out and editable at that time. So I don't know why this changed. I made that centered. Let me make that centered again. I'll make it bold. Okay, got to even this one, make that centered. All right, and then uh, obviously we'll do more to that page as we go through. But I wanted to introduce you to that checkout process. And we'll see that again when we have our document libraries. Now, it's interesting. If you guys, um, like if, uh, if Chad and uh, Mike are on the, this homepage, you, you may not have the refreshed version. So sometimes you might have to actually refresh your internet page. So notice how my mouse is going up to the refresh. By the way, I'm using uh, Internet Explorer uh, to do this class. A lot of times I use Chrome, but uh, you're going to find that SharePoint can work uh, very well with uh, Internet Explorer or with Chrome. Now, I really haven't tried it with um, some of the other browsers, but I know it works pretty well with uh, SharePoint. I went with uh, Internet Explorer and with uh, Chrome. But I'm going to go ahead and do a refresh here. And now you'll see the newest version of the page. Now, this is really, really important. I still have this checked out, so nobody else would really be able to change that site until I check it back in again. Yes, please. This is Mike. So I'm an administrator for the, for the CSG SharePoint, um, and I don't have it set out that it has to be checked out. But while I'm working on it, everybody else 
would still access that site? Uh, yes, they, they would still see that site. That is correct. They would still see that site, but they wouldn't see your changes until you saved them and uh, and made that the uh, official version. But the people would be able to still work on it without a problem. Okay. Yeah. Still... Somebody else have a question? Okay, thanks. Could, could they still edit a document within the site? They can still edit uh, a different document within the site. That is correct. So even though we have that one page uh, checked out, everything else in the site is still fully available. They'd be able to view everything and work with the other documents as well. Uh, so if, if you're thinking about Microsoft Access, in Access, if somebody has the database open in design mode, nobody else can really get to those items at that time. But SharePoint uh, is really designed for multi-user in, in a bigger way. So they don't, they don't limit that. Uh, now, in this case, everybody, I'm going to click on page, and I'm going to check it back in again so that another person could, perhaps could edit that. And I'm going to say uh, add it to logo. And those comments actually will show up uh, in the in the versions. Uh, so I'll show you how to go back to the uh, versions in a, in a couple minutes from now as well. So, you know, you can put comments in there, and that will go into the version of that. Okay, good. So now notice how I don't have it checked out anymore. Thank you.